Good morning, guys. We are about to go on a safari float, uh, I think on the Peña Blanca River here near La Fortuna, Costa Rica. And uh, the guides keep joking that it's going to be whitewater rafting, which I would be okay with. Not so much Jenna and her sisters. Well, Jenna would, but, um, but anyway, beautiful property here. We're about to set off. Let me show you around real quick. We're Jenna and Jeremy. After 14 months of RV life, we sold the RV and booked a one-way flight to travel the world. Follow our adventures as we explore more of our incredible planet Earth. Don't forget to press that subscribe button and turn on post notifications for weekly travel videos. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok, Quench Your Adventure. Now on to the good stuff. Our guide, Rocky, gave us a quick safety briefing in case we come across any gnarly class one rapids. Remember, this is a safari float and our primary goals are to see wildlife and enjoy the relaxing float trip. I brought my camera with the long lens for wildlife, but keep in mind, we're on a constantly moving raft, so I definitely struggled to capture everything. Rocky's English was great and so was his energy. He also had a lot of knowledge to share and a sharp eye to guide us. You know you're videoing, right? Oh, I'm videoing. <laughs> This is the Crested Cara Cara, or Cara Cara. I didn't get great video, but we conveniently saw more while in Manuel Antonio, so here's a better view. They're pretty ruthless birds and often steal food from others. Here we have wild bananas that are preyed upon by many, including humans. It was a pretty overcast day, which was actually kind of nice because it kept us a bit cooler and made looking up into trees less harsh. I think this is a boat-billed heron. Apparently they can sense shrimp and catch them even in the dark and have amazing vision. We were able to get right up under this guy and get a nice close look. Here we have the largest tropical owl species, the spectacled owl. And in case you didn't know, iguanas climb trees. We were pretty blown away to see these things way up in the canopy. Here we have the keel-billed toucan. There were a few and they were hard to capture, but truly some of the most interesting looking birds we've ever seen. Our most exciting encounter was with the howler monkeys. We heard them before we saw them. They produce some of the loudest animal calls in the world. They're about the size of an adult cocker spaniel, but sound as large as a tiger. Males with deeper calls sound more attractive to females. As you can see, they're also extremely athletic. And yes, the males have white balls. Oh, there it is. oh it's moving. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> I got cookies and cream on my thigh. Not really, yeah, that's some bird bottle, poo -poo. We also saw this three-toed sloth doing some acrobatics. Fun fact, sloths come down to the ground to poop once a week. It's not that defined, but that's actually a baby on its chest. I think the float was about two hours, which is exactly what we were looking for. And as you can see, we saw quite a bit of wildlife. Before heading out, the guides treated us to a nice snack, fresh pineapple, papaya, yucca chips, and cookies. By the way, this was with La Fortuna Rafting and we're really happy we did it. Lastly, here's a Coti Mundi, however you say that, or Pizote, I think in Spanish. We saw this guy while passing through some of the higher elevations while taking Jenna's sisters back to the airport in San Jose. They're super cute animals. Thank you guys so much for watching our video about our Peñas Blancas float trip out of La Fortuna, Costa Rica. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and guys, stay tuned for a lot more adventures in here in Costa Rica.